For more free information and other tips, please click on the About section below the video name. Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Healer. This is where you're going to learn on this channel how to get rid of issues that are affecting millions. Please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted on future videos that will be posted and go ahead and give this video a like. Please also leave a comment with your feedback below this video. It would be greatly appreciated as well as sharing this video. Thank you so much everyone. What your doctor wants to tell you but can't. The herpes simplex virus, whether it's one or HSV2. Both HSV1 and HSV2 can be curable, not incurable as your doctor has to tell you and is required to tell you. So you may now be wondering why in the heck you can't be told the truth when you're paying for a service to go to your doctor to find out the answers you want to know. So you may be laughing right now thinking, ha ha ha, why is this not true? Well, let me go ahead and tell you. So go ahead and watch this short clip and this is going to be a little over a minute long and it's going to detail a very short history of Western medicine and why pretty much most doctors are smiling when you leave. What's in the goodie bag when you head out of the office? And I'm also going to tell you how you're going to heal, what to do, and how you're going to succeed. Let's go ahead. Medical industry was accomplished by the takeover of the medical schools. Well, the people that we're talking about, Rockefeller and Carnegie in particular, came to the picture and said, we will put up money. They offered tremendous amounts of money to the schools that would agree to cooperate with them. The donors said to the schools, we're, we're giving you all this money, now would it be too much to ask if we could put some of our people on your board of directors to see that our money is being spent wisely? And also accepted one, two, or three of these people that I mentioned on their board of directors, and the schools literally were taken over by the financial interests that put up the money. Now what happened as a result of that is that the schools did receive uh, an infusion of money. They were able to build new buildings. They were able to add expensive equipment to their laboratories. They were able to hire top-notch teachers. But at the same time as doing that, they skewed the whole thing in the direction of pharmaceutical drugs. The doctors from that point forward in history would be taught pharmaceutical drugs. All of the great teaching institutions in America were captured by the pharmaceutical interests in this fashion. And it's amazing how little money it really took to do it. If you've made it this far, then you're ready to know how. And you might be wondering also, how in the heck am I going to get through this if I can't even pay for a service that I had all my trust in. Well, just hang tight and let's let's go through this. It's going to be very quick and it's going to be very easy for you to understand. Now let me go ahead and walk you through these steps. Very simple steps. Let's go. Step 1. Antioxidants. Not just any type of antioxidant but fresh berries are one of your best defenses to help you move forward. These are not frozen. These are fresh. These are ripe. 
because frozen foods are not a living food. If it dies in a few days, whether it's organic or not, this is what's going to help you move forward, and this is step one. Step two, positive thinking. So having very positive thoughts, once you have the correct information and you know the steps, it will be very much a very simplified and easier way to help you move forward and will help you achieve positive thinking. So you might be wondering in step two, why is positive thinking important? Why does it matter what I think about? Well, as in step one, it mentions antioxidants. Antioxidants are like the good guys. Free radicals are the bad guys. Negative thinking can produce more free radicals. Therefore, slowing down the process of healing. The more free radical damage you have, the longer it will take and the more damage the body has to actually heal. So, to avoid this, you definitely want to have positive thinking. So hang tight, let's go to step three, and let's continue to move forward. Step three, clean water. And no, coming from the tap, which is being shown in this picture, is not clean water. Unless there is a system that is filtrating this particular water, then that would be okay. Bottled water is not clean water. Anything that is reverse osmosis filtration, you can also add minerals back. If you use, let's say for example, a 10 stage system and you already maybe have one of those in your home, just add some minerals back into it because it does strip the water. Uh, distilled water uh, will also work. And anything that is from a fresh coconut, typically not something store-bought that sits on the shelf that has chemicals. A fresh coconut would be the most ideal, depending on where you live, if you can actually have access to that. Uh, a young coconut is, uh, in my opinion, the best source of water on the planet. Um, you can also use just one coconut a day and regular filtrate, filtration type of water, nothing again coming from the tap or a bottle. Step four, avoiding harmful foods or even harmful over-the-counter medications, drugs, whether they are prescription or recreational. This includes marijuana, even if it's legal in certain states. There's plenty of other ways that somebody could, could use something for pain or anything else that is not from a drug. And whether you disagree with me or not, all of these will affect the healing process of the human body. Treating symptoms is totally different. And if you want to truly move forward, you want to avoid all poisons or potential poisons. Keep that in mind. Junk food, fried food, artificial food, and anything that's artificial with sugar, artificial sweeteners, avoid it all. If you don't, then you may never get the, the progression and the actual success that you want. And the final step would be dried herbs. For those of you that don't know, dried herbs are three times more powerful than fresh. Yes, fresh herbs are still great for you, such as basil, mint, dill, but dried herbs are triple the power. All they need to do is you put in a little bit of water to activate them again and you're good to go. Uh, best ones 
and there's many of them, are uh, Dill, <laughs> Time, <laughs> Basil, Three, two, one, go Oregano, you could even get into Cloves. And even some uh, Corella powder. <laughs> Corella powder is also another herb that's very nutritious and that will also help. So now that you have all the steps, you should be able to move forward. And of course, you can always add things and, and put a few more things in here that aren't mentioned in this video. But this is the good gist of it. And... A good summary of what you need to do thank you so much folks please go ahead and share like this video and put your comments below thank you